In Sydney, water is a big part of our lives. We have beautiful beaches and waterways, and our drinking water is some of the best in the world. Water connects people and places. It's where we live, how we move around, grow our food, and enjoy time with family and friends. You can see water all around you. It's one of the most common substances on Earth. But so much of this water is salty or trapped in ice, leaving only 1% available for drinking. The amount of water we have on Earth is fixed. The water that we use today is the same water that was around when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. It's continuously being recycled through the natural water cycle. The cycle uses physical processes to move water from the surface of the Earth to the atmosphere and back again. When the sun shines on oceans, lakes and rivers, it heats the water, turning it into a gas called water vapour which rises into the air. This is called evaporation. The sun doesn't just heat water in oceans, lakes and rivers. When it warms people, plants and animals, they release water vapour too. This is called transpiration. As the water vapour cools, it turns back into a liquid, forming tiny water droplets in the sky. This is called condensation. You can see condensation in action. The tiny water droplets join together forming clouds. In Sydney, most clouds form over our oceans and are blown towards the mountains, rising higher into the air and cooling even more. As they cool, more water droplets condense and become heavy enough to fall out of the clouds. This is called precipitation. We can see, hear and feel precipitation as rain, snow or hail. Precipitation can happen anywhere, but some places receive more than others, depending on the shape of the landscape. When precipitation falls, it flows through a catchment area and to a common point like the ocean or a lake. It can travel through waterways and over or under the ground. When water flows over the ground, it's called runoff. When it soaks down into the soil, it's called infiltration. Plants use this water. Some water will seep deeper into tiny spaces in the soil and rock. This is called percolation. Although you can't see it, water underground is also moving. It keeps flowing towards waterways. As water flows through a catchment area, it carries things with it. It can pick up solids, like leaves and twigs, and dissolve minerals from rocks and soil. In Sydney, we manage some catchments by building dams to collect drinking water. These catchments are surrounded by native bushland and national parks, meaning that our source of drinking water is protected, natural and unspoilt. Whether the water is taken up by plants and animals, or it finds its way back to a waterway, the processes of evaporation, transpiration and condensation will ensure that it keeps on flowing through the natural water cycle. As our climate changes and our population grows, it is more important than ever to understand how the natural water cycle works so that we can manage it sustainably for future generations.